G'day folks, it's Skippy from Montour Fish in Australia. So you can't go fishing, whether it's due to COVID lockdown or strong winds or big seas, you name it. So what do you do? Well, you organise your tackle, of course. So I thought I'd just share a few of my uh, tips today in terms of uh, tackle storage and organisation, and hopefully some of those will help you. So let's start with a few bits and pieces I've pulled out of my boat here. So firstly, in terms of soft plastic organisation, I have my plastics organised according to colour and I have them marked on the boxes there with little dividers so they are easy to find when based on the water colour. So okay, I want this particular colour so I know where I can find them very quickly. Then a few of the tackle boxes that are pulled out of my boat. This one here, for example, some of the smaller species that I'll have. This is quite apart from already having rigs ready to go. So these are like the little extras that I might want to think, okay, I need a change of tactics or a change of rigs or something. Um, here's the extra bits and pieces, everything from widening hooks to, to circle hooks, brim hooks, small reef species and different size sinkers, swivels and beads. And then some of the other tackle boxes I have, again, a step up to slightly heavier species to the snapper and bigger reef species, a few of the uh, sinkers, and again, some of the heavier sinkers down there as well. So there are a few of the tackle boxes that I'll, I'll take out. And then over here, I have my uh, trolling lures or uh, spinning lures. Now I have them sorted, not by color, but by uh, depth. So I'm gonna chase flathead. So for example, in about 1.2 to one and a half meters or so, then I use this box. And these are great little shallow divers for, um, for flathead, or, um, or you'll pick up um, the occasional sort of whiting and plenty of brim on those. Then I go up to sort of mid-range. Again, these might dive to uh, a couple of meters or up to four, four and a half meters or so, variety of those, and then deeper divers yet again. So then, in addition to those, I have a couple of small little tackle boxes that I can just fit in my little LV shoulder bag that I might just want to take out and fish the flats with or a creek, walk along, wade along and pick, picking those up nice and easy so you're not carrying much weight or much size. So let's go into um, my uh, cupboards here. So in here I have the tackle organised in um, various uh, boxes and crates. A lot of these uh, ones here, for example, I've just picked up from Bunnings and they're relatively cheap and a great way to organize your gear. So starting down here, just um, some little tackle boxes with sinkers uh, sorted according to size so they're not all mixed up and messy, easy to get to, easy to put together sort of another tackle box or some bits and pieces that you want to make some rigs, extra rigs. It's all there, you know where to find. So there's some star sinkers, surf poppers, flies, um, or uh, talon and salmon off the beach, you know. Speaking of which then, if I'm uh, putting together um, some rigs on my table, I then know where to come and find, say so pliers and scissors, all stored nice and neatly. And then knives, a variety of, of different knives in there as well. And then um, let's go over here. So in terms of my uh, rigs, some of the rigs that I have, here's some Alvi rigs that I have sorted according to sinker size in there. So again, nice and easy, you know, uh, according to the swell or whatever, I'll put together a few and I might say put them in this little tackle wallet. Down the bottom, some star sinker rigs for dew or heavy surf in terms of holding your rig uh, when you've got that strong sweep or some spin rigs. Um, various other bits and pieces in here, everything in here from, I have from uh, trebles, uh, pens and tape and bits and pieces, um, little pins that I use for um, my rigs, putting my rigs together. Then some other bits and pieces I have, red tubing, uh, other spare sort of uh, hooks and swivels and beads that, you know, I want to grab for rigs. Um, then I have my line sorted in a particular way, nice and easy. In terms of my, say, my braid and mono over this side, I'll have organised according to line size, everything from four pound up to 50, 80 pound, some, some braid there at the back. Then over here, the fluorocarbon leader, same sort of thing. From four pound through to the very heavy stuff. And here's an example of the sort of leader that I love using, this Stealth FC. Another great thing it has is this 
uh, line tamer where you, the line feeds through there, you pull it out, and when you're finished, um, it doesn't get all sort of messy. So, what else we got? Um, in here, we've got um, our sliders, so the slide baiting for mackerel, jew, etc. A number of bits and pieces and uh, rigs and, and the big uh, sinkers in there. And I put that together based on these sort of rigs from uh, Don Butler and the crew from uh, Kingfisher Australia. So uh, what else we got? We've got some pre-prepared tackle in here for whiting and I've got everything from uh, whiting uh, beach rigs uh, to flatch rigs, slightly um, smaller sinkers for the albies, a number of little individual tackle boxes ready to go to put in that uh, tackle bag with the rigs so if you get broken off you've got some bits and pieces two other whiting rigs here deeper water uh, stuff uh, wind whiting rigs it's all in there so then what else have I got down here I've got my waders sorted uh, wet weather gear in here I've got um, some beach accessories so everything from the Albi shoulder bag the bait boxes uh, rulers um, Alvi uh, dry pack, which is great as I mentioned, sort of put, put the rigs in before. Um, Alvi uh, measurer, you name it, all sorts of bits and pieces in there, ready to hit the um, hit the beach other shoulder bags for for waiting for flathead, etc. Other bits and pieces I sort of might have stored like uh, everything from rubber bands to um, line uh, spoolers. A plonker pad for um, the sinkers on on uh, your big rods. Then over here to tackle the uh, flathead to go fish the flats with. I have a bag all ready to go with different size jig heads in there. The um, the scent, the procure scent, and then a variety of um, different colours um, in terms of plastics. You can tell I love the Z-Mans for good reason. And then the um, some braid. Uh, some braid scissors. So there we go, there's a bunch of um, I guess my uh, tackle storage options which I, um, I hope are useful for you and um, you know you're able to sort your own gear and get out fishing soon. Cheers.